discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video! Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Dead Man's Cabal, one of the latest Kickstarters by Pantasaurus Games. Um, did I say discussion? No run-through review. Because I do not want to do a run-through for this, because this game is, uh, quite boring. Yeah. Um, not bad. I personally wouldn't say it's bad, like, inherently. Um, we've definitely played worse games. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh... But we weren't having any fun, and it was obvious. E exactly, yeah. We were we were going to do a run-through for the game, but, like, we weren't saying anything. We were like, okay, I guess I'll do this. And, um, the game... The, the game... The game... <laughs> the game's fucking weird. Like, that's the best... Like, none of the actions seem to have really any meaning to them. Um, they have a tile a tile system, which uh, other games have done before, where you draw something from a bag, you decide where to push, and what you push out is like the action that you take. Um, they do a little play on that, where what you push out, you then put into your thing, and you put something in the bag, and you as a player get a private action. So you're almost kind of guaranteed to do something that you want to do. Oh, I need to get bones. I'll go to the Athenium and get no cards, but I'll get three bones. Oh, I, I need to get new cards, so I'll draw from there. Um, or it's like, I need skulls, or I need I need those. So every you, you're guaranteed to do something on your own. So And, and I actually kind of like that. I like the fact that you get your own private action to guarantee something, and then the whim of the fucking Osiri is determines what everyone gets to do which gives you some food for thought on what you want to push in and, and stuff like that because it's the middle row always and you're like okay well it's majority of the colored skulls there which in our the last game we just played it was fucking red over and over and over forever forever <laughs> until everyone started pushing it out and eventually now luckily which i like the fact that they have a way to mitigate that so it's not always red. The same action cannot be taken twice. Which is good. Uh, I, I like that that's a thing. Um, but then it's like up to the player to decide, okay, well, since red can't be taken, and if, if it's tied like that, then I guess it's either between wed or wed. <laughs> red or gold. And it's like, but I don't really want to do any of those. Like, so... I'm sorry, it's... The... It's wed, wed or gold. Wed or gold. Now wedge. <laughs> Um, and so, I it, it, it leads me to believe that doesn't even need to be in there. It's like, I just, I wish this was, this theme is not a bad theme. No. I actually would have rather enjoyed a uh, worker placement game. Oh, yeah. That's not abysmal, like Abomination. <laughs> uh, and the... The, the Aesthetically, it doesn't even really look that good. It's just random tiles... Like, uh, just there for no reason where they're placed makes, like, just fucking just toss them onto the table and then be like, all right, guys, to make this game more fun, we'll run around the table to do our actions. Chinese fire drills. Yeah, uh, but no, you have these hallways for no reason. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like they clearly made, what well, they wanted to make it look like a crypt, but, like, the, the tones are too dark and too heavy. Like, the hallways just, they just look... I don't even get why they're there. Yeah, they yeah. don't need to be. It's um, weird. Uh, I don't really much care for having, like... Because you do the Sanctum to place your skulls that you're collecting in a, in a particular order to be able to perform a ritual to play cards and get points for it. Yay. Yeah. Like, that, that's it. That's it. Like, the game is... Very simple, and maybe it's just not for us. The box says 12 plus higher for age. Board Game Geek says 8. Wow. Like age is 8 or higher. Huh. So maybe that's a community vote. I don't know, but or a miscommunication. The box says it's 60 minutes. Sure. Like, the game's not that long, because it's either whoever places their cubes first. Yeah, and we were starting to funnel through our cubes pretty quick. Yeah, or, or first one to seven. It's like, okay... And then, I guarantee you this is going to be one of those games that it's like, first one to seven is going to win. Well, yeah, like, probably. But even then, it's like, 
it, it does have a balancing factor because it's not like I perform my ritual. Like, it'd be more cutthroat if I perform my ritual and then immediately pulled a skull off. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it's like, do. if I needed to get four brown it together, like, for, for her in particular, once she's, she's eight, like, points, so it's like, okay. Um, and it's like, okay, so I'll get my four and immediately take a brown off. Then it's like, great, then you can't use it. But no, everyone does their thing. There's step one for that. Then everyone does their step two. And then everyone takes off a skull. It's like, so wait, so we're helping each other for to make the same people? Like, because everyone looks the same? Yeah. Um, yeah. You're right, it does look like the gorillas. Mm -hmm. But uh, that um, that artwork can only go so far, well, in, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with that art style. It's just like, give them different facial expressions yeah. because... It's well, noticeable. I think if you want to be whimsical, then I like the fact... I mean, maybe because they didn't want to give names, because it's like, Oh, God, I know someone who was named like, the Like, literally, this is the Something. exact same, like, facial features. Yeah. Um, with slightly, like, just different... Like, this guy's got stubble, this one doesn't. Yeah. His lips are a little bigger. Like, yeah. it doesn't... Um, this says it's a strategy game. I don't see really the strategy, because... It's like, and if there is, it's not, it's not that heavy. Right. Uh, I mean, oh, I have to think about where I'm placing my skull. Barely. On, on the sink, though. Yeah, barely. Um, it's like, oh, I have to decide where I want to place my cubes over in the Oracle for endgame scoring. And you have a score track that you don't there's use. no point. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just there. Um, <clears throat> aesthetically, I think the skulls are a nice touch. Yeah. I think they look cool. I think the bones as a resource are kind of cool. Um, but I think the, the ultimate consensus was this game is just absolutely just so boring. Yeah, yeah. there's like nothing intriguing about yeah. it. Yeah, like if anyone was like, you want to come play Dead Man's Cabal? I'd be like, no, no, I... I really don't. I don't even want to watch you play that. And that's the thing. It's like I don't. I, I don't hate this game. I have by all me all means played. What terrible. would be the point in us making like an hour, hour and like fifteen minute long gameplay run through, mm -hmm. and like it's boring as fuck to watch. Exactly. Yeah. I and I completely agree. That's why I end up doing no run through reviews. One for that very reason, or two, it's like we're doing the same thing yeah. over and over and over and over again. And the banter's like. Just not there. Yeah, you're not like, doing Because there's nothing between players. The banter to do was, anything. oh, more red. Yeah. Great. Because there's nothing like, okay, I can't stop you from doing anything. It's kind of a race to see who can build quicker. And it's Thank like, much. okay, I played this person. Okay, you get to go. And that's like, really all you can say, too, is like, this person. is Because there's like, there's nothing there. Oh, I happen to have Literally, two green runes, so the, I placed two there. The best cards are the ones that let you do alternative actions, and they don't give you anything. Yeah, they don't give you anything, so it's like, okay, they weren't that interesting, and it's like, the biggest banter was, Josh, can you place my cubes on that? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the entire time for the endgame scoring, I was gonna, I was like, I'm going for the 20 points. Oh, yeah. Why the hell would I not, if I can complete these just as quick as everyone else? And get go for twenty points. Sit here and just like this is the whole <laughs> game. Twenty extra points. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, I got I got ten. Um, yeah. So the the different locations aren't aren't interesting enough. Uh, the game's not thematic in any way. Uh, it's it's just so boring. Like honestly, I, I I first and I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like pirate themed. Probably because I saw the skull. And the Jolly Roger sign. That's I figured this would be about pirates. No, I knew it was about necromancers. The uh, just because I mean I thought it was about destiny. <laughs> it's true. And Run that you goddamn open, joke into the ground. Right, we open it up and it's just the guy. It's just a video of the guy. <laughs> Come on, on the video of the drifter. <laughs> um, actually, the one thing I absolutely hated was the fact that that Osiri just you could get trapped in a fucking. In a cycle. In a, yeah. in a cycle. And it may, like, like, another negative is possibly that we're playing with an odd number of people. Because I've noticed. BGG said best with three. I mean, one person. Yeah, it. yeah it's true. So. Because, like, kept, like, you guys kept pushing stuff and it kept being red in the center. I'm like, great. Because I just want to spend a bone, get get a skull, do and the that's same all thing. You do, 
And that's all I want to do. Yeah, like, I mean, this didn't mean shit to me. I wanted to do these two things exactly. over and over and over again. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, but you have to go for the scriptorium to get the runes to be able to place for end game scoring. Otherwise, literally all your points are just going to be who you brought back to life. Um, we, you start with two cards, so you have to do the Athenium to at least draw. But, like, once I, would, once I drew my five, I was kind of like, okay, I'll just try and make these five work. Yeah. Like, I never wanted to go back and try and get better people. Like, if these all had, like, abilities or something to make them worth, like, like their points and an action. Say, it's like, for each X, it's X times the amount of X's yeah. you have. Yeah, no, nope, no, nope, X was, was nothing. And it's yeah. like, I was looking at that, and, like, because it, it would make it more intriguing. Like, okay, my hand of cards let me do something. Let me try and go for this guy, because he lets me do that. Like, the, the Greedo card. Yeah. Where it was like, okay, hey, he gives he's a point for every other thing that I've built. Yeah. yeah. That's something worth striving for. The Athenium action lets me flip up three extra cards and then pick from that. It's like, I, okay, sure, I guess I'll do that. Yeah. It, it essentially expands it from yeah, your options of six visible right. to, like, be able to look at, like, seven. Yeah. And what is your, uh... Or seven. You may oh, draw one additional skull from the bag when you do that. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. So you can get an extra red skull. Um, <laughs> this this game is like the feeling, and it's hard to identify this feeling when you're playing a board game because like there's a couple different things of like, well, am I really being fair right now? Is it just what I'm thinking? Um, Does someone praise this game and then they're gonna get butt hurt in the comments? Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then like also I ha I have to think like. Well, is anybody else feeling the way I'm feeling? Like, how much money did Seth pay for this? He oh, yeah, obviously wanted to, us to play it for a reason. And the, this, the feeling that I got that I'm talking about is when I start a movie, like, off of Netflix or something, and I'm, like, ten minutes in, and I'm like, I don't want to watch this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is fucking just either, like, a boring movie, I'm just not into it. And so, like, when we start playing a game like that, like... I was trying to get into this and trying to have fun, but, like, Seth was like, what, like, are you okay? Like, and I'm like, it's just... This is, yeah. Not, like, I don't know. It just... So, you ready for the, the big, the big mic drop? Yes. Uh, this company? So, I paid 50 bucks for it. Okay. Um, so, not that, not that bad. Like, component-wise, like, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's about accurate. This is the same company that made Dinosaur Island. How dare they? Like, how dare same they? Same company. Probably not the same, des not the, probably not the same, same publishing Team. or same designer. Um, yeah. Because yeah. Dinosaur Island is so fun. Dinosaur Island's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's I, fucking phenomenal. Yeah. It's you want to talk about strategy. It's say, I haven't, I haven't played it. So. Oh my god. It's, a, it's not even the same fucking like, realm. Dinosaur Island takes a shit on this game. Okay, so no, it is not the same designers. <laughs> you were like, thank god. <laughs> Although, funny enough, this game, Dinosaur Island, has a 7.8 uh, out of 7.4 thousand views. I, I give it a 10. This has a 7.3 out of um, 90. This? Yeah. This isn't even good. <laughs> I know, right? This isn't even the realms of good. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, so, I mean, there's there's not a whole lot here to talk about besides of our disdain for it. It's definitely better than Abomination, because at least this game oh, isn't yeah. like three hours of atrocious, hey, let's roll dice. And I would see play this one. five times in a row <laughs> before I'd play Abomination. Right. Yeah, right. So, um,. Maybe maybe it's for a younger group. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's um, it's maybe just, it's just it's, not our game. It's just not for us. Yeah. And uh, are we gonna give it a score? Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, I'll I'll start. Uh, I'll give it a five. It's average. Like like I said, I don't hate it. Um, like I just I would never play this again. Um, it's it's average. Yeah. It's a. Uh... I'm bright at five also. Um, average. Like, nothing made me mad <laughs> while right. sitting here. Yeah. I wasn't like, like, I, I, there's, there's nothing unbalanced about the game. There's really, you're not really interacting with other players either, except for the Sanctum every now and then. Yeah. Like, there's not a whole lot of like, oh man, if he gets that red from, oh, okay, I better take that before. There's none of that. There's none of that. <laughs> it's just like, do your own shit. Go for your own thing. I, I do, like I said, the one thing I do actually really like is the private action on your turn, and then you also get to partake in a public action that everyone else does. Yeah. I like that. I think that's a cool idea. Um, everything else, though! It's, oh yeah, Kat, where you at? 
Uh, I will also agree with a five. Um, bleh. Just... It, it's not... It's not bad enough to be below average, but it's not good enough to be better than that. Yeah. yeah. Like unfortunately, if, go if ahead. this game was a movie, I'd turn it off within ten minutes. So. Um. Unfortunately, I can't think of anything that they could do here to make it better. Um. Start from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make the game, but uh. I'd like, say just like little touch-up things, like this isn't even necessary. You can just take out a calculator key and add your points together. Like, touch that up, get rid of the hallways, make it more aesthetically, please. Change you can't all... Make it, you can't make a cutthroat. There's no way you could be more aggressive. So I say, I take this theme... Actually, here's the best advice I can give. Take this theme and make a worker placement game. Yeah. Game. Like, I would take... A good worker placement. All this modular shit out and yeah. make a and flat board. I, like, all of these would be perfect worker placement spots. Yeah, like, because this... You go, oh, I need to get... I like I need to get bones, so I'll go over there. I need to get bodies. I'll go over here with yeah. my limited workers. I'll find ways. Like I'll recruit some some grave hoodlums, diggers some or grave diggers yeah. or, or whatever, to get more workers, so I can go to more places to get the the skulls that I need to go to the sanctum uh, to spend those skulls, not not place yes. them in any orientation to spend them, or like a worker placement where you have like your own little board that you get like the ingredients and you put them in spurt and then you're like, okay, well, I'm not everything can be scythes. <laughs> <laughs> not everything can be as good as scythes. Not everything can be as good as tapestry. Oh my god. <laughs> I will say um, that like... game. Oh, <laughs> nope. Here. Different, different but, video. But it's different like video. so. I, so it's like okay. So I got the skulls. I'll put them in there and then I'll go to the sanctum spot and now they're in order. And I'll use them to pe to play my big whatever. Hey, I, need, I had three black and a red. Boom. And then all those go away. Yeah. If you used them for the ritual. There you go. Fixed your game. Boom. Like, it's not... The, the, it's, there's nothing needed. These these don't need to be here. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. is like they have a modular board. What do you think you're going to do when you have a modular board? Move around it. Do you think you're yeah, going to put different pieces? Play yeah, I was. I saw the hallway, so I'm like, oh, we have to, like, you start here, and you'll have to... Like, move around No. Nope. No? <laughs> yeah. What? So why this serves it? no purpose! Yeah. Like, that's yeah. that's the thing about, about board games. If you're trying to make it aesthetically pleasing, like, it's always practical. Like... Uh, like, like the, um, in, in Cloudspire, the game we just played earlier, uh, the towers, those are aesthetically unnecessary, but they make the game pop. This doesn't even do it. You don't do anything with the hallways. Like, that's um, like, okay, you place the spire over oh, there, and you just watch look it. Look at this dimly lit hallway it's with a even, candelier yeah, and, it's, it's, and five skulls. It's not even, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they, they, I mean, it's not, they are, it's not even that good on the, on the hallways. It, that was just, I, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, just weird, weird. But yeah, while I was talking about my worker placement idea, I got excited for that game that doesn't I, even I, exist. I was like, you know, that sounds fun. <laughs> Maybe I, you know what? Stealing the, stealing the thing. Stealing the <laughs> <laughs> They sue me. Making my own game. Yeah. Fuck off. Like, they can, uh, that, that's the best way. You, I don't think this, this particular game is salvageable, but feel free to, uh, take your, your own game. My idea. Uh, you can write a check, uh, to, um... But, I mean, that's, that's really... Right. Those are, those are Game perfect. Boy Industries. Yeah, the one who wins. Like, those are perfectly fine end-game scoring things that you yeah. could have as an end-game goal in a worker placement game. <laughs> like, it could have just... Uh, missed, missed opportunity. I am bummed out that that game does not exist. Um, and but, bummed out that this one does. Yeah, yeah. But... Anyway, I will say, funny, funny enough, the two to four players guys, the the skulls have party hats on. <laughs> so, so Hash, yeah. Hashtag cute. Mm -hmm. So I, I know, think, I know, we complained a lot, but like for it to be a five and us I, complain this much, I mean, yeah, like, it's more on disappointment than it is on, on like actual absolute, like hate. Yeah, yeah it's because it, 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 even though it was clunky and kind of weird, it, it did at least function. Yeah, I mean the game's very, very simple, so it's like it's not it's, it's not just confusing. Super bland. It is very yeah. bland. Um like if it was so, a spice, and, and that's the thing, is like in twenty nineteen I so I keep a compiled list of games that uh that could be on, you know, the end of the year lists and mm -hmm. stuff. Um twenty nineteen and it happened last year and it happened the year before that 
the games that are coming out are getting better and better and better. So these, in my personal opinion, these kinds of games don't, like, it's like you can't be making stuff like this. Yeah, it doesn't stack up. And what's going to hurt them, in my personal opinion, is the name brand with Dinosaur Island that... Like you have a reputation that it's like yeah, so it's like you can't make mediocre games. Um, I mean, I guess you can by all means, but at the same time, you're going to be held to a higher standard. Games will be held to a higher standard. It's been like that for video games. You can't make a six dollar game anymore for video games and expect that to just for it to just be you can't okay. Gut the shit out of it and yeah. expect people to enjoy it. Yeah. So whenever it comes to board games now, it's like. Why would I sit down and play a game like this whenever there are hundreds of others out there that take the same amount of time and are vastly superior? Because Dinosaur Island's not that long either. Um, and it's like, yeah, without a doubt. Like, yeah. when we play Tapestry, like, when it says... We're not going to Yeah, so, I mean, it's just... That, that's, that's where I'm coming from, out of a five. It's like, I mean, I... This reminds me of you didn't play this. You and I did Dice Settlers, mm. if you remember that. And that game, that company makes actually really good games too. But when whenever I reviewed that, I was like, and I'm kind of in the same ballpark here. I gave this a five with, but with, I'm kind of like, this game just kind of did nothing that it doesn't even really warrant a rating. Really, for yeah. me, like it's like it's just so it's just so forgettable, so blah, so like okay. Like if hey, do you remember Dead Man's Cabal? What? Yeah. Like, now, Cla the two other games we played today, Cloudspire and Court of the Dead, those came out this year also. Yeah. This yeah, it's not even the exactly. same realm. Yeah. Exactly, and they're all Kickstarter. And this this has to be an age thing, like because if this if this is truly for eight and up, then well, it makes yeah. sense. BGG says eight and up. The yeah. box says twelve. 12. Which still for theme, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The community says eight eight years old. Yeah. It's for them edgy preteens, like, we're worshipping Satan. Yeah, barely. Um, the theme is a midway strategy game. No, it is not. <laughs> from game, de game development from Jonathan Gilmore, Dead of Winter and Dinosaur Island. How? Uh, where? What happened, man? What happened? He just wanted to get his, his money in and make a game. And it's like, hey, pay me. Yeah, that um, crack money in good. These skulls are nice. Yeah. Yeah, skulls are nice. Yeah, you got so. little little cubies. But I mean, that's yeah. it. I mean, we've beaten around the we've we've yeah. beaten this this horse uh, enough to just talk we about. We have it. mutilated it. Yeah, and so then tea bagged it and then mutilated it. So again. yeah, fives across the board. Uh, average game, average game. So um, let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this, and if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell, click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page, the link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.